92. Burak Ogyo. Referee for this match is Mr. Yap Schmoll of the Netherlands. Great support coming from the crowd here for their man, Yoshich. Barakiger just staying comparatively still in relation to Stepan Yoshic, who's moving around using his leg by springs. Plenty of plyometric training going into this performance the referee stops the match because there's not enough action it's a passivity warning Yoshi is being encouraged by the home crowd very good quite happy to sit in the center of the tatami waiting for the counter punch op opportunity into the last two minutes of the match referee stops once more for a passivity warning both of these players now on keikoku category two Chuna mawashi attempt there from a yeah but it was blocked again like in the beginning now it's yosich who's commanding the center of the tatami has to move back he comes in pushes he had left be a little bit careful here he's holding on he could get penalized and it is it's going to be in a category two warning for a girl that puts him on Hansaka Chui he can't afford to do any more have any more warnings in category two or he'll lose the match with a Hansaku into the last one minute 20 seconds there is a yeah. Chudan Zuki. Yeah. And it is Burak Ayur who opens the score with a Yuko and the Senchu. His patience paid off, but he is on Hansa Kachui in category two, and Yosic will make sure that he takes full advantage of that. He no. himself on Hansa Kachui now for holding on. Gizama and a good Gazama Zuki there, wasn't it, Dominic? That high punch. Much to the dismay of the home crowd who want their man Stefan Josic to get back on terms. He trails now with two Yukos against him and the central advantage of a girl. Uh, he'll just take this opportunity to put his pad on i'm sure fairly slowly has a look over to his coach thinking now what can i do to get back into the match two point score from a two down kick or a three point score from a head kick would certainly do even he has enough time to do two punches but he's not uh, enough process Trying to hook punch, and the, that was a clever move. He did the hook sweep, threw two punches, the second one over the top to take the score. He's now on the scoreboard with a Yuko. He only trails by one point. He's still got 30 seconds of the match still to go. There's a good Anzuki tried over the top again. And he's back on terms as far as Yuko's are concerned. He just trails by that central advantage now. He needs one more point to take the European title away from Burakagu, if he can do so. There's a Jordan Chuki attack. We're into the last 17 seconds. There's a challenge from the coach from the Turkey. Turkish. And, and, uh, 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 so we have a challenge from both of them. So Giuseppe Zaccaro and Roland Lauren will now study the video review to see if either of those punches 
could score, and it's possible that both of them do. One is no. And one has been rejected, and that is against. And there's a second review, so the match was resumed at this point. Is there going to be a score? Have to wait for the video review to make their decision. We know that Yossi's challenge has been rejected, and nice so has the challenge from Aguirre. So the coaches have no more options on the plate. It's down to the last 14 seconds. It's 2 2. And in your future time is desperately to come back into it. Aguirre still has the central advantage. And there's a contact violation here from Stefan Jocic. That's a category one, so it doesn't affect his chances of winning. It comes in with a Jordan Zuki there. And the Jordan Gazama Zuki desperately trying to secure him. Yoko Gary from Stefan Jocic. But it is a win for Baruk Agur of Turkey, 23 years old, European Championship. The title goes to Sir Turkey, and Serbia has to settle for the silver medal. But a fantastic attempt there from Stefan Yoshi.